Welcome everyone to our training and education video for Trace Minerals Research. I'm Scott Boyson. I'm the Marketing Manager for Trace Minerals Research. And with me is uh, Dr. Darren Starkey. He's our Director of Education and Training. Thanks, Scott, for having me today. Yeah, you bet. Uh, Darren, today we want to talk about uh, trace minerals. We want to talk about uh, the need for trace minerals and why we need trace minerals in our bodies and why we need to take a trace mineral supplement. You know, that's a great question, Scott. Trace minerals, I mean, oftentimes they're overlooked because of the fact that uh, we, we've never been educated on them, but at the same time, they're just as essential to our health. The thing that concerns me is that we've got information, documentation given to our government back in 1936 in a congressional, at a congressional hearing that basically stated that 99% of the American population are deficient in minerals. Wow. That's 74 years of history, so my question today is that if we were that deficient then, where are we today? We have to understand that these trace minerals are the foundation of our health. Without them, vitamins and macro minerals are useless. They don't function in the body. So in this case, once we put those trace mineral foundation back in, we function better. Our heart, our, our mental capacity, our, the way that we handle stress, everything, of course. So trace minerals do affect the way that we, I mean, our health in general. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, so. You talked about trace minerals. I think that our, our, uh, everyone wants to know, what's the difference between a trace mineral and just a normal mineral? Uh, well, in this case, macro minerals. Okay. We're familiar with macro minerals. We've always been educated on macro minerals and the fact of calcium, potassium, magnesium, and zinc. But sure. trace minerals, chromium, zinc, molybdenum, you know, selenium, these are trace minerals but are literally used in the body in very minute amounts. Therefore, trace. Oh, okay. But they're just as sense. essential as macro minerals. So. Sure. Sure, that makes sense. Uh, when you were talking about the Senate document, you talked about agri agricultural farming techniques. Um, that made me think that with the fruit that we have in front of us, can you explain to, to everyone why, if I, if I eat a, a good diet, I eat fruits and vegetables and, and I feel like I'm eating well, sure. why am I not getting the diet? Why, why am I not getting what I need if I have a good diet? That's a great question. We're not saying that you're not getting the trace minerals in your food, but in this case, think about it. Most of our society either cooks it, nukes it, eats it out of a can or through a pickup window. True. They eat very little True. raw, but even if they do eat it raw, Scott, we become such a global society. Unless you grow your fruit yourself or vegetables, where are they coming from? Yeah, that's that's the question that has to be asked because in this case, you know, this apple, you know, where is it being grown? And therefore, that's why supplementation of these trace minerals are so important because if we lived in a perfect world, that's where we would get the trace minerals is through our fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds, and grains. Mm. Therefore, I don't believe that uh, the, you know, supplementation would be as important as it is today. Yeah, that's true. So where, uh, Darren, can you tell us, where, where uh, do you get your trace minerals from? Trace minerals research harvests their minerals from the Great Salt Lake here in Utah. Okay. Now, the Great Salt Lake is a huge body of water. In fact, it's 75 miles from north to south. It's 35 miles from east to west. The average depth of the Great Salt Lake is very shallow, actually 30, 30 feet deep. Yet at the same time, there's four waterways that actually feed the Great Salt Lake. Yet the interesting fact about the Great Salt Lake is there's no outlets. Mm. So once those minerals are in, they're in. And right. yet at the same time, these four rivers that feed this lake actually deposit about 2.2 million tons of minerals annually. Wow. So the answer to that question is we'll be here for a very long time. Yeah. Well, thanks, Darren, for your time. Thank you.